Hey there guys, how's it going? And welcome to Lego Worlds as we just dodge that cloud there. So, uh, sorry for the uh, bit of a delay in videos. I've been busy playing other games for myself. Um, yeah, so this game sort of appeared on Steam randomly all of a sudden. As you can see, it's really cute. It's all made of Lego. Look at it, it's so cool. And um, so I've made a little bit in here. I didn't record myself making anything. It's basically Minecraft with Lego, so that makes it better than Minecraft. But um, yeah, jury's still out on this for me. I'm not really a fan of these games that just say, here's a world, go do something. I do like a bit of direction, but I have made some stuff. So um, this is the shrine to the, the sacred tree or something. I don't know. So you notice I, I chose the lava because I think it's a nice dramatic place. There's a, a shrine over there which I've placed as well, which we'll see soon. So just going to take you in a tour of the area. So um, Oh, this is my dude, by the way. He's just a standard character you get. But I like his monocle. <laughs> monocle, monocle, top bad monocle. So this is the sacred tree of whatever. And here's some stuff I placed down. I'm not really... I never really... I was more of a magnetics guy rather than Lego, so I, I wasn't... I'm not too knowledgeable about all of this. But uh, I did have some Lego as a child. Here's a slightly broken down bit of a wall. And up above, I can't quite show you. So what I'm going to do is... Um, See, up in the top left, there are a few different things you can do. So we're just going to go on brick building right now because... Ooh, let's not get stuck in a wall. It means we can fly now. <laughs> I put a few sort of shrine trees in the sky. On clouds, because that makes sense. There's a few trees about. There's my trees next to the broken castle. So this is sort of the lava area. It is, it is in biomes like Minecraft is, so you'll get the snowy place, there's the watery place, the lavery place. Here is my watchtower to overlook the vast um, lands of whatever. Uh, I haven't really explored a huge amount. Oh, look at the moon! Oh, the moon's made of Lego. That is sweet. I wonder if you can go to the moon. You probably can't, but that's really cool. I like that the moon is made of Lego. Um, it's got quite a good uh, little building creation tool. And uh, here is a mysterious... Oh, let's try and uh, drop down here. Whee! Ha ha! Look how pretty it is, though. I mean, all the individual Lego blocks and the textures are gone. It's really quite impressive. So here is the... Um, the shrine you may have seen earlier. How dare that be in my way? Yeah! Okay, so, as we approach down here... There is a shrine to a mysterious symbol. I don't, I don't know what that could stand for at all. Yes, so surrounded by the lava and the stone, we have this mysterious logo. Who knows what it could mean? I don't know. <laughs> I have a feeling that whatever it means, I don't know, it's amazing. I just get, you know, that's that's the feeling I get. Don't touch the lava, it's bad for you. Um, this game has a really nice sort of momentum system. You can climb stuff. It just feels quite nice to control. Um, I think it's about all I made, really. I did spend quite a little while. So, um, what you'll be wanting to see is the building stuff. So, you have a whole selection of Lego bricks. An absolute ton of them. And you can have them in different colours and all sorts. It's really quite nice. So, let's select a, uh, boop. And you can just, you know, one after the other. Or you can sort of, if you hold control, you can, I think it's control, no? might be shift actually shift yep you can make a line right click delete some so left click to place them and uh, yeah so you can do all of that you also have you know you can paint you can overlap stuff rotate and then there is also um if we go back you can uh, you know add terrain delete it flatten it all sorts of that sort of stuff. raise it i've never actually raised terrain let's see what that's like Let's see. Fantastic. I gave it a strange rock nipple. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, so it's, it's quite an in-depth tool, actually. There's lots of stuff you can do. You can copy and paste stuff, and... Oh, yeah, you can customize your character with stuff. Um, and there's stuff like items that are pre-made that you can bring in. Like there's vehicles, and there are brick builds and Lego sets and props and that sort of thing. So, for instance, brick build. 
You can see there's the uh, the gates and all the trees I put down. There's a weird tiny him top hat, whatever that is. I, I, I don't really know. And you can just click on these and it will build them for you. So let's have... Um, let's have a creepy tree. Spooky tree. Okay, so uh, obviously it shows you where it's going to go. And then what I really like is it sets about building it with all the correct blocks. You can see he's chucking out there. How cool is that? All of the actual little blocks. They all go out. That's pretty sweet. And it's pretty impressive to watch at, at times. I mean, depending on what there is. I've never actually built any of these. Let's have a lollipop. Oh yes, let's have a lollipop. So, um, if you guys want a series of me just building stuff in the Lego uh, in the Lego game, obviously. Oh, that's cool. I like it. It's now Happy Lava Lollipop Spooky Land, Spooky Tree Land slash Shrine. Oh, this is all outside my shrine to the, the, the mysterious thing. I have no idea what it is. I'm gonna have to delete all that. Dang it! Undo, undo. Thank you. So that's pretty easy to get rid of what you've done if you messed it up. There's that mysterious logo amongst the lava. A mysterious tree shrine. Yes, it's... I'll be honest, it's fun up to a point. This kind of game... And some people absolutely love it. And you may say, well, Reese, Space Engineers is a basically the same thing. But I would say to you, no. Because in Space Engineers, you can build stuff like a spaceship. And you can fly it, and you can put weapons on it. And it has a good damage engine. And with this... I can't punch this tower down. I have no damage engine on this. Um, I can't build a car from scratch as far as I know. As far as I know, that's not possible. I could be wrong. I can't build anything that moves. I can just build static objects. There's a dragon down there. I'm not going to go fight him. Uh, yeah, so there are other like NPCs hanging about. And uh, the, the terrain is deformable. I mean, you can drill into this. Uh, I've got a little drill car, I actually might be able to spawn. Can I afford that? I can. Where is it? Uh, I just paid for that. Where it be? Oh, right. There it be. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you can drive around in this thing. And, ooh, the camera angle's not good. It needs work. And you can drill straight through stuff. If you hold the space button. And I'm stuck. I'm already stuck. Fantastic. Right. So there we go. And the vehicles control a tad bit janky, but whatever. It's a Lego game, not a driving game. And apparently, it can survive lava, because it's amazing, and I've broken the game. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, um, it has its limits for me, because you can't really interact with anything you've made, except just go, oh, look, that looks cool. I mean, if you're into that sort of thing, like, I've always had that problem with Minecraft. A, it just says, go do stuff. It gives you no direction, no tutorial, which this thing doesn't either. And, uh, well, you know, B, once you've made something, unless you're clever, you can't really do anything that you can interact with. Good job these tyres don't seem to melt in lava. Um, so that's my problem. At least with this, well, you can sort of go into the mine. What is that? Yeah, let's hop out of here. What is that stuff? That's lava still. <laughs> yeah, so... um. That's my problem, because with Space Engineers, yes, you are just creating stuff and there isn't actually a purpose, but once you've created it, you can you can drive it, you can fly it, you can test how it works, you can test how well it holds up to damage, you, you can you can build cool stuff, and then it can do things. With this, it's just, you know, you build a house and that's that's all it is. That's all it ever do. I just fell in the lava again. Um, so that's... Eh. But I think the game itself, uh, this is early access by the way, and it runs pretty darn well. I haven't noticed any glitches really. Um, I think it's got a good base to build on. I think if they add a lot more content to it, this could be a really cool game. But as it stands, it's really cheap too. So if this looks like your thing, I wholeheartedly recommend you go ahead and get it. Because, you know, if you like Minecraft, I imagine you'll like this. It's about... It's just, for me personally... Not 100% convinced yet. I think they could do more with it. And I hope they do. Because it's a game I want to like. I love the idea of it. I love the way it looks. And the creation tools are very nice and detailed. But, um... 
yeah, so that's all I have to say about it, really. If you'd like to see me do a few more videos, just building stuff, building up the, the clean gaming little empire in the lava, and the... Ooh, I wonder if I could build a flying thing. I have to look it up on YouTube, because I'm not 100% sure what you can do. I might be wrong, and you might be able to do, like, make aeroplanes, make bikes, and cars, and all sorts. I don't know. I could be wrong, and we can explore it and sort of just turn this into the clean gaming universe, if you'd like that. So let me know, guys. Um, I haven't really shown you that much, so if you do want to see more, let me know, and I will do more in another video. I'll show you different biomes, we'll create stuff, and uh, we'll mess about with it, and uh, try and not fall in the lava as much. Can I... Oh yeah, here's the... Uh, Climbing system. It's uh, really quite good. You can climb on pretty much anything. So I am master of all that I survey. Because I have a monocle. <laughs> Way Here we are. Isn't that pretty? There's the Lego sun setting over my ruined tower and all of my trees I put about because I'm a sucker for cherry trees. There's my shrine. That I was quite proud of that when I was done. It is quite satisfying when you're done. But um, afterwards, just like, okay, I can look at that now. <laughs> yeah, so um, I, I'm just rambling now. <laughs> so uh, thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed, then please do hit the like button. It really does help. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, please let me know if you want more videos on LEGO Worlds. I will be happy to do it. I mean, I haven't really played a huge amount, so I might not just I just might not have gotten into it. And I would love to get into it. So um, thanks very much, guys, for watching. And maybe we could kill a dragon in the next episode. I will see you guys in the next episode. See ya!